Hi everyone. If you want to know how to schedule a data export from Power BI to Excel format to SharePoint to OneDrive, this is a video for you. Uh, first of all, there are two ways how you can export it. You can use Power Automate, uh, connect to a semantic model and then export data by using this method. Or the alternative to that would be to use a paginated report with its subscription functionality. So let me show you how that works. So let's have a look at my workspace. Here's the report uh, with some data in it that I would like to export from. And this is the semantic model with this, uh, that is connected to this report. So let me go ahead and click on these three dots of, on the semantic model. And then we can see that there is an option create paginated report in preview at the moment. So let's click this. And that's going to create a paginated report with a live connection to that semantic model. So now let me have a look and uh, select the fields that I want to have in this data export. So I'm just adding three fields, but there is no limit to it. Um, as long as your file that you're going to generate as a data extract is less than 25 megabytes, you're going to be fine. So currently, that's the only limitation that I'm aware of with the paginated report uh, attachment. Now, let's go ahead and save this. Now let's go back to the workspace and we're going to find the new paginated report is now created. So let's open it up. After the report is open, you'll see you are able to click subscribe to report. We'll go ahead with this, create a subscription. We'll select standard. And here you can select recipients if you want to send it as an email or you can also save it to OneDrive or SharePoint. So in this case, I will just select OneDrive, but you can also select SharePoint. So there is no difference really. So I'll select uh, OneDrive and then it will connect to my OneDrive. And I will need to select the location where I would like to store my reports. And here, the attachment type I'm going to select Excel, but you can, as you can see, you can also see, select CSV. You can schedule start and end date. You can select uh, the frequency, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. I'll keep it as a daily. And that is it. Now you just need to click save and it's done. It's that simple. I think it's a lot easier rather than creating a Power Automate flow and create connection to the semantic model. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section. Thank you.